important to get to the public market that's going to go here. You wouldn't know how to get there. It's confusing, and then you come back downtown less often, and you tell people downtown's frustrating or whatever. So the more we reduce those obstacles to your comfort uh, and uh, pleasant experience, the more often you'll come, the more people you'll tell about it, and that's ultimately what it takes to get revitalized. So some of these things are going to be counterintuitive, and we know that going in will be yelled at for the rest of our lives for them. But Is there another layer of asphalt? That's yes. Going? Okay, because yeah. there's a little lip. Right. So uh, this is just the base layer of asphalt. Um, this is the construction yard. So the contractor will still need to use the middle of this to get materials and equipment back and forth. Uh -huh. So even when these fences come down in a few weeks, it won't be open to regular traffic until the very last thing they do will be to put the last asphalt down and all the striping and all of that. And then we're going to have a gigantic party once the full street opens up. But once the fences come down, uh, we're working with the city to address some liability issues. Uh, but we'll get that fencing down unless there's a little fountain being built or something that they need to secure. Um, but you'll be able to start walking through here in a more like a normal downtown landscape. So, and are uh, you so doing getting free there. parking to entice people to come? No, it's an interesting thing with parking. So the on-street parking will have meters. And what on-street parking is good is short, high turnover parking, right? So if you're gonna quickly go in and, and uh, buy something or meet a friend for lunch, you throw some coins or your or your debit card or whatever into the parking meter. But if you're gonna stay for a while, we want you to come up here. So this is another place where Fresno is exactly opposite wrong. <laughs> uh, it is actually cheaper to park at the meters in Fresno than it is to park in this garage. And we want that to be just the opposite. We wanna make it really cheap and easy for you to go here and hang out for six hours in downtown but if you need to go somewhere quickly and find an on-street space, you're going to be able to pop in and have a reasonably good chance of finding a space on the street. Uh, the value of these parking spaces to commerce in some cities is $10,000 a day of commerce happens for every on-street parking space. So you've got to protect those from uh, lazy office workers or whatever from taking a space and going out and putting a couple quarters in every couple hours and blocking all that business from the restaurants and the shops. And, and if it's Get free, the, it will be employees only. And customers will never have a chance. And um, last city I was in, we, we tried to avoid parking meters, and so we put really strict time limits in place. 30 minutes only, right? No one, None of the workers will park there. Well, they figured out when the meter maids came by and put the chalk on the tire, so they would just run out, rub off the chalk, go back in, never get a ticket, Customers had no hope of ever getting on there. We metered it. All of a sudden, the sale of monthly permits for the garage went up by 50% in one month because all of a sudden the workers realized, holy cow, I can't, I can't rub off the tire chalk anymore because you know it's not a time limit thing, it's a meter thing. And if I just plug the meter all day, I'm gonna rack up this huge tab. So the garage, they're given $30 a month permits. I'm gonna go in there. And the street actually decluttered once once we did that. It was easier for customers to get in. So it's all about that smart parking, you know, management that Craig talked about. And so yeah, we're right now, if you park on the street, if you park on the street in downtown Fresno, it's usually 75 cents an hour, right? Is the rate. Go to the garage, which is a little bit more out of the way, a little less desirable. Three bucks for the first hour. Like Craig said, totally backwards. So what we want to do is make, you know, the streets the premium, gear it for the high turnover, and then give a smoking deal here for the people that want to park longer term. Maybe the first hour, hour and a half is free, you know? And then, and, and then that way, hey, look, I need a deal. I hate paying for parking.